My name is Michał Stolarz and today with my colleague Natalia Kiroga we would like to present the results of the Migrave project which is about developing technologies to support children with autism spectrum disorder. Migrave is an ongoing project funded by the German Ministry of Education and Research. We cooperate with Münster University of Applied Sciences and University of Applied Science in Cologne. The main objective is to develop a robot assistant that can be applied in therapy of children with autism spectrum disorder. We primarily work with QT robot in the project. Uh, we also publish the code and make available the video demos. One topic covered in Migrave project is personalized robot behavior modeling. Robots are used in autism therapists, but they often have to be controlled manually. This is a significant drawback of such systems, such that increasing their autonomy is desirable for improving their practicality in real therapeutic scenarios. We aim at increasing the robot autonomy with a behavior model, which is a decision-making algorithm that personalizes game tasks to child's skill level, adapts robot verbal and nonverbal feedback given to children, quickly adapts to an individual. We ground the problem in the sequence learning game, where each user has to memorize and repeat emotion sequences. Based on the engagement score and game performance of the user, the robot should learn what sequence and feedback to say to the user. The second part of the project consists in learning human gesture by imitation. Here, the demonstrator or therapist must be able to show any action with the upper body limb and the data is processed as follows. We filter the skeleton data to remove unwanted noise, then we verify if the robot is performing a collision and if this is the case, we re-estimate the angles to avoid damage to the robot. Finally, we save the data to reproduce the action at any point of time during the therapy with a PID position controller. Now I would like to introduce to the results. For the filter data, we can see that the noise of the angular position of a random joint is smooth and the re-estimated angles in the second graph do not have a considerable difference from the desired position. The result of every stage in the process showed that the method is feasible and the admitted error for the reproduction was only one degree. For more information, please contact Alex Mitrevsky from the Autonomous Systems Group at the Bonn-Reisig University.